Hi, thanks for joining me on the Jim Sapphire channel. If you're new, welcome. I would also like to invite you to check out my Instagram account, Jim Sapphire. So today I wanted to talk about my NARS collection. I'll start off by saying NARS is not a cheap brand. I, I always buy it or purchase it whenever there's a support discount or I have points or I have a coupon. I mean, just anything I can get my hands on just to make it a little bit more affordable. I would say probably what keeps me coming back is not only the the texture of the or the end look of the product, but also the packaging. I mean, it's some it's some very nice high end packaging. So one of the first products I ever uh, purchased from the NARS line is this dual eyeshadow palette. Yeah, their dual intensity eyeshadow palette, Narcissus. I mean, being that it's dual intensity, you can wear them wet or dry. Usually, I like to wear them wet. And just to, uh, just to mention kind of what I do with some of the colors, like Andromeda right here. A lot of times I use this as a brow color. And then Europa, I'll use this as a transition color. Um, if I want to go darker as a transition color, I'll use Himalaya. And then the rest of them, either on the lid or on the outer corner. But I will say it's starting to show wear and tear. Just because, you know, most eyeshadow palettes have a shelf life. This one, 18 months, and, and I'm pretty sure it's been more than that. So I might have to uh, declutter this one. I mean, after I purchased this, I, I purchased a few more of the singles. So just to share those colors with you. I got Phoebe, Desdemona, and Callisto. So Callisto, I mean, just look at it. It looks... It's definitely... I mean, it seems like it's silver, but there's like, I mean, definitely multi-dimensional color, very beautiful, inner corner. And then the other two colors kind of fall more into the, I would say, plum berry. Let me just open this. Yeah. So there's those two colors. So a lot of times I'll combine these three colors just to get a purple look. I also purchased their eyeshadow duels, so this green one, Habanera, very nice. I mean, you really, I mean, if you're in a pinch and you just need two colors, I mean, this is uh, convenient, these duels that they have. And then the second one, uh, Kuala Lumpur, actually I discovered this one by accident, just because one day I was at Sephora and I was you know, messing around with a, a look and it just turned out so terrible that I tried to clean it up and, and and I actually picked this palette up and I just started playing around with it and then I realized, wow, I I need to buy this. It's just pretty. It's just like a peach and a purple. I mean, textures are, are, are smooth and they go on nice and they blend well. So going into my other items from the NARS line. Uh, this is now I'm going from eyeshadows to blushes and their bronzers. So this one I purchased recently in the Sephora sale. They're blush dual. So the two colors are hot sand and orgasm. I mean I just wanted to get hot sands because I kept reading and reading about uh, from other YouTube review reviewers that this is such a nice universal highlighter and, and also this this blush orgasm it's a nice universal blush this is great when I'm traveling too you know I just throw this into my my bag my overnight bag so it's very convenient then going to my my bigger uh, blush and and my blush and bronzer palettes so this this is what I mean about the packaging like usually during the holidays they try to do something special like do a collaboration with an artist. So this, this um, I think this was like two years ago, but from Stephen Klein. And has, uh, uh, let's see, blush, bronzer, and then blushes on the very bottom. Yeah. I would say this highlighter, I, I don't really go to very much. It's okay. It, it's, I rather use this as a brow color, honestly, than as a highlighter. And I sometimes use this, sometimes I don't. But I mean, I would say this one definitely, I use this the most. Laguna, no surprise, this is also very, a, a universal color that they're known for, for bronzer. 
And then here's all the other uh, blushes. So pale pink, uh, rose, a shimmery peach, and then a darker uh, rose. Sometimes I use each one alone or I like to, you know, kind of build it up. Like I'll use this light pink one and this dark, uh, darker shade. Don't worry, in the description box, I'll, I'll list all the palettes by name and all the colors that go with it. Because I don't want you to have, or this video will take forever. And then the next one that I purchased, another chic palette. This one's Unfiltered One. So, so again, a highlighter. I like this highlighter much more. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And then these are all blushes except... I guess you could say this is a bronzer, but this is a little bit shimmery. I, I notice over time, I you know, you just start to develop preferences. I don't really like my bronzers to be so shimmery, but I mean, this is definitely a nice dark uh, rose, and then this is a plum. I know this color, this is part of the reason why I bought this palette was this color. I just wanted to be bold and just, you know, just try something different. I mean, with a light hand, I mean, this could be a very flattering color, this dark. I guess orange. It's called Exhibit A. And then lastly, I, I bought this from their holiday collection. For the play blog. I feel I'm saying this wrong. It sounds terrible how I'm saying it. I'm sure it's much prettier. But um, they decided to do it differently because you know the other palettes are this way. So this is more vertical. Yeah, vertical. But I mean, look, it's sort of a tortoise shell, so it's, it's pretty. So we're kind of going away from blushes. This is more highlighters and bronzers. So again, this one also has Laguna. Laguna and the other, the color I, I haven't mentioned before is now Casino. And then, you know, you kind of have your pick of your blushes. I mean, sorry, blushes, highlighters. You can kind of decide, go from light to a little, uh, little more beige. And they all, they're all shimmery. Um, the bronzers themselves are not. That's why I, I like this palette, just because, you know, I love my highlighters to be shim, shimmery and my bronzers to not be shimmery. So, I know, short, sweet video. Hope you enjoyed seeing most of my items from NARS. I mean, there are a few things I didn't mention just because over time I have decluttered a few items. You know, some lipsticks, some. There was another eyeshadow palette that I ended up not using that much over time. But but overall, I mean I'm still a fan of NARS and, and I'm always I'm always keeping my eyes out for anything new they might come up with. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my overall NARS collection and I hope to see you next time.